These days, software development and testing is no longer restricted to only those who know how to code. Powerful no-code solutions exist for every aspect of software development and testing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an automated QA test using Playwright's CodeGen feature. You don't need to know any code and we're going to record everything using our mouse and keyboard. So in this example, we are going to write a no-code automation test for a newsletter sign-up form. We're going to use a free disposable email account, enter it as our email address, and then receive an email and verify the contents. So let's get started. Make sure you have Node.js installed on your machine first. Then make sure you have a code editor like Visual Code Studio. We won't be using it much, but we will use it to set up the project. Okay, so the first step is to open up your editor and install Playwright. Playwright is a browser automation tool and we will be using it to record steps in a browser and save them as a test that we can run later. So the first step is to open the terminal and type npm init playwright. Press enter. And then you'll be asked a few questions. So you can just press enter on all of these. Enter, enter, enter again. And now it is installing some packages to our computer. Okay, now that that has finished, the application we want to test is a simple newsletter sign-up form. So when I enter my email address and name and click submit, it will send me a newsletter welcome email. If I open this email in Outlook, we can see that it says welcome and then my name. And it includes some information about the newsletter and this image of a dog. So what we want to do in our test is automate this process and make sure that the newsletter contains the right message. Okay, so to get started, we want to use the Playwright CodeGen feature, which will open a browser and let us record our actions, which can then be replayed as a test. So we can open up the terminal and type mpx Playwright and then CodeGen. Okay, so this opens a browser and in the window to the right, we can see some test code. So as we perform actions, the Playwright Inspector will generate the test and we can save this so we can run it later. I'll just make this bigger so we can see it. So the first step is we want to load our newsletter application. So if I go to the browser and type newsletter, dot mailslip dot biz this is the dummy application that we will be testing and the first thing we wanted to do is to assert that we see a sign up for our newsletter element so you can see when i hover over elements on the page they light up like this and we can click these controls up here at the top to make assertions or tests about the information on the screen so i'm going to assert that the text here says sign up for our newsletter you see, if I click the accept button, that expectation gets added to our test code. So we're going to build a test piece by piece just by clicking in the page. So you can see that we need an email address and name to enter into this form. And we want to be able to receive that email and make some tests about it too. So for this step, we'll use the free email testing tool called MailSlurp. So you just sign up for an account and then log into your dashboard and you'll be presented with an API key. We need to copy that and we'll use it in our automated test. Okay, so now back in our test, we want to load the MailSlurp test interface to generate an email address. So if I go to test.mailslurp.com, I'm presented with this test interface. Now we can log in using the API key I copied earlier. So I'll paste that and click unlock. Now you can see we're being presented with an email interface. This means we can use this email address here in our tests and the emails will appear in this box. So we can open them in the browser and make some tests about them. Cool. So I'm going to copy this email address now just by clicking, clicking this copy button. And now we're going to go back to my newsletter page. And I'm going to paste it into the email field. So I'll click here and paste. And then for my name, I will just write Jack. And then let's click submit. Okay, so it says thanks for signing up. Let's make an assertion about that or an expectation using this button here. So I click that and then click thanks for signing up. And we can see it has generated a test, thanks for signing up. We'll accept that. 
and it has been added to our test code here that is generating as we go along. Okay, so now the next step is that we want to load that email. So we can just go back to test.mailslurp.com and we can see the email has been received. Here it is. So we can see the subject is welcome to my newsletter. Let's click it. And the email opens like so. So now we want to make a test about this email. So I'll click this AB button here and I'll make an assertion about the text. It should say, welcome Jack. Let's click OK. And that has been added to our test. OK, so this looks like a great test. You can see here it's generated all the steps needed to test our newsletter sign up and assert that the email contains the right message. So what we have to do now is copy it into our project and save it. So I can click this copy button here and I'll go back to my editor and in the test directory, there is an example spec that has been generated. So in there, I'm just going to paste the test and have a look at our test. Okay, so you can see here all the steps required to load our newsletter application, uh, assert about the sign up form, load the test interface for MailSlurp, enter our API key, copy the email, and paste it into the email form. Then we submit the email here and make an assertion on what the contents of the email contains. So in order to run this now, we can just click this little play button in Playwright. Okay, you can see the same steps we performed being repeated and the email was received and the test is complete, one test passed. Great, so there you go. There's an example of how to write an automated test with no code. You can use Playwright CodeGen feature to generate tests. And in this example, we tested a email newsletter sign up form using disposable inboxes from mailslurp.com. I hope that tutorial helped you. So like and subscribe below for more content from the channel. Thanks.